Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here on my main account. Just going to be talking about a little bit more of my in real life situation in this one as opposed to RuneScape really related things. I'll give you a little bit of an update on my max cape progress thus far, but I did just want to give you guys uh, an update and just make a full video talking about how I am going to be a little bit busy in the next couple of weeks at least, be which will. Uh, make it a little harder for me to make videos, but first of all, let's go for the max cape progress. Like I said in my 99 smithing video, which if you didn't see, I did get 99 smithing, still wearing the seal cape. Um, I was planning on doing mining next, mainly because I didn't want to have to deal with the rework when it comes out in terms of changes as far as XP rates go or training methods, which is the same reason I got 99 smithing. So I have been going pretty hard on the mining grinds here. I'm currently 94, started at 89 a couple days ago, and I'm 317k till 95, so not too far off. And Saren stones are just such a good experience. I've never done them before because on my old main account, which I maxed out, uh, the, these weren't out yet when I got 99 mining and I did the whole thing at uh, Living Rock Caverns and this is just so much more uh, AFKable as well as so much better experience. So I like it a lot and I've really been enjoying it. Getting quite a bit of Corrupted Ore uh, which is kind of nice but not really a huge use to me. I'll probably end up using it up just to see if I can get the smithing pet but um, We'll have to wait and see on that. I already have the mining pad. I've had it since like 68 mining or something, so not a huge deal there. But um, yeah, been going pretty hard on that. Uh, still working on my farming. Just finished a run actually. Um, should be maybe a day or two maybe until 87, so slowly but surely working that up. And with my mining here, I've gotten I think two invention levels so far from siphoning my pickaxe, so I should be maybe 90 by the time I get 99 mining, which is pretty nice. Um, you actually get quite a bit of uh, invention XP from Saren Stones here, so that's why I have my equipment siphons on hand if I do need them. Really nice that they made those stackable. Um, and the, you really like fly through urns here at uh, Saren Stones since they made them uh, usable. And um, I, I've had to buy quite a few more urns than I had in my bank, so and I probably actually will need more before 99. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it's pretty nice to give a nice boost to your experience and um, pretty useful to use. Other than that, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing since my uh, last vlog. Just going to be. Oh wow, Iron Man comp cape, nice. Uh, just going to be continuing my mining, going for 99 on that. Uh, it shouldn't be too long, honestly, because the XP rates are so good, and uh, it's nice to AFK. Still been playing some The End Is Nigh on Steam. I've actually nearly finished it. Um, just need a few of the cartridges achievements and stuff, so not too bad. But um, yeah, after after mining, of course, I have... Plans to go back to agility, most likely, to finish that off. Do a bit of a more active skill after the two nice AFK ones. Um, and then from there, don't really have 100% plans, so I'm not going to talk too much on that. But yeah, the mining shouldn't take too, too long, considering the AFK ability and stuff. But I may, like I said before, have less time to play in the coming weeks, because uh, I am moving I, on Friday, which, what's today? I don't even know. Today's... Saturday. So yesterday, <laughs> I got a little confused with the days because um, I actually flew to where I'm going to be moving to. We looked at several apartments and uh, I did manage to find one that I wanted and it was really nice to, and I picked it and um, then we flew back and so it was kind of like, felt like it was like more like two days, but we were only there for one singular day. Um, and the really nice thing about the place I'm going to be living is it's actually literally right across the street from where I'm going to be working so I can just walk across the street to work and back every day which is amazing pretty much the main thing I wanted with a place I was going to live was that it would be near to where I'm working because I had an internship last summer where I commuted and uh, it was about an hour drive there and an hour drive back with uh, without or well maybe an hour 15 including the traffic so pretty terrible and I just hated it like I didn't mind the job at all like it was pretty de decent job pretty easy um, but the drive would just made it so miserable because I would had to get up so much earlier than in the morning than I really would have had to had I lived closer or something so it's just uh, it was pretty much the number one thing I hated most about working full-time so 
not having that uh, inhibiting me is going to be really, really nice, and I'm looking forward to that a lot. So obviously with that, it's going to be a pretty big change in my lifestyle as well as um, my living situation and everything. I am moving to an apartment by myself. So, I mean, I did live at school for the last four years, so it's not a huge change in terms of, you know, like I don't know how what it's going to be like or anything. It's just, um, I mean, I'm going to be working full time, and that's going to obviously take up my weekday is pretty much entirely. I mean, obviously, when I come home from work, I'll still be able to play and stuff. I won't really have anything outside of work that I'm going to be doing, at least at the moment. So I should have a ton of time to play, honestly, during the weekdays even. But um, the main thing is on uh, Tuesday, or, well, what day is it going to be? On Tuesday, yeah. On Tuesday, we are driving down with a truck to move me in. So that is going to be a big job to do, and it's going to probably take like the entire day so that's gonna be pretty uh intense uh we're bringing a u-haul and it's about like an eight and a half hour drive so gonna be quite uh quite a long day that one but um because of that i mean pretty much tomorrow which is sunday and monday i'm going to be spending packing up everything and getting ready to move because uh i'm pretty much uprooting my whole life which is going to take a little while to well not too long because i still have quite a few things in boxes from college but there is potential that I may not be able to play on Monday and therefore won't be able to make a video on the game update, so I apologize for that um, in advance. So just be prepared if you are looking forward to a uh, video from me on whatever ends up coming out. I think, oh, it, it is the Skill Chompas Monday, they have already told us that. So I apologize, I may, I most likely actually, well, it's not most likely, it just depends. I may or may not be able to make a video on that. Um, one thing I will make a video on, provided it does even come out, is the polls, because these polls only last for another six hours, and um, so that means that there should be more polls coming in tomorrow morning, so I will make a little video on that tomorrow, just as long as they do come in. And if they don't come in, I might make a video just kind of complaining about it. Um, and I kind of want to, I have a few things I want to touch on about the poll system in general that um, I don't know, I've sort of just thought of recently and have kind of come to light throughout the community. And I think it would be interesting to talk about that stuff in a poll video. So most likely I will have a video tomorrow regardless of the fact if there are new polls or not. So you can look forward to that at least. Um, but then Monday, not sure if I'll be able to make a video on the update or not because I'm going to be moving or packing the truck pretty much all day Monday. And then Tuesday, we are leaving very, very early in the morning in order to get there at a reasonable time considering it's an eight-hour drive. And um, we, need, we have like a certain time slot in which I am supposed to move in during. So pretty much no question of I'm going to be completely busy as hell on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday... Uh, a couple people are coming to move me in and they're staying over on Tuesday so we'll probably do some things on in the area on Wednesday so I will likely be busy then as well um, and there's also the added factor of I'm not a hundred percent sure on the internet situation at the place I'm moving into at the moment so it's going to be a little bit shaky whether or not I'm going to have internet right away or not I mean I honestly have no idea I really hope that I'm gonna have internet right away but I have no way of knowing a hundred percent whether or not I will so that is uh, obviously going to be an issue in terms of if I can upload or even make videos so um, I will I don't know what I will do if I don't have internet initially just be prepared for maybe a long stint of no videos and then I'll explain when I get back because I don't really have an alternative way of doing it um, I guess I could maybe try and go somewhere just to upload a quick thing like record offline and then go upload it I think in the lobby would have internet for you know for free so that's that remains to be seen but I will definitely make sure to make a video as soon as possible regarding my situation just to keep you guys updated and um, I start my job next Monday so uh, this this Tuesday I'm moving in and then I have a couple of days to sort of get rid of get used to the area and uh, just settle in and then I start working full-time next Monday so just wanted to make this video letting you guys know there may be a drop-off in content especially next week because I am going to be moving and um, 
I, I'm sure once I get a you know established with my internet and I get started getting used to the job and the routine of a daily routine of going in and everything, I will easily be able to produce content just as much as I am re am at the moment. It's just going to be a little bit of a transitional period as I get used to this new situation. So, other than that, thanks to those of you who actually listened, who maybe are maybe interested in a little bit of my real life stuff. It's not super something I like to talk about too much. I just feel like it's quite important to mention in this situation because it ha may have a pretty big impact on my video making capabilities. Other than that, you guys, hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, look out for my 99 mining video in, uh, you know, pretty soon. Definitely uh, should have that. I'm obviously going to be a little bit delayed because of the moving and everything, but I could easily get it within the next couple of weeks, just sitting here AFKing without uh, much problem. So look out for that. And um, yeah, looking forward to continuing to make progress towards my Max Cape. It's going pretty well so far. Um, haven't really done too much in terms of 99s, but smithing and mining will be nice to get out of the way. And uh, it's not too, too hard uh, to continue from there, especially once I get the big ones out of the way, like agility and hunter and divination is pretty slow so those are probably my big three that are going to be the most annoying also i really just don't like rune span as you can see rune crafting is by far my lowest skill my only skill below 80 and um yeah anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out